Oh yeah, we just have we just have one more regular level to do, I believe. Um, but I mean, if you're still up for, um, we can go through it and just finish the boss and call it a day. I mean, I guess. Oh, what the hell. Mm. Say, so like, water? <laughs> Alright. This game... This is... This is this game's, uh, full water level. That was just so cruel. Yeah. Man. You can't just do that. The funny looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding. Yep, so the way this is... Uh, oh, jeez. The way this stage works is that you hit the switches and you get more water and it gradually gradually uh, um, overflows as Jeez. you get through. <laughs> Violence. Yeah, boy. But yeah, this is a pretty fun level. Uh, again, the sheep have helmets on. Oh, that's, oh, that's nice. I didn't notice that before. Uh, I admit this is another level that fully use it makes use of the uh, underwater controls which is always a good time and I like the verticality of the stage like the water temple water temple done right <laughs> I wouldn't know I hadn't played for any time that far oh really that's surprising well I will say I'll stress this much uh, the underwater the un um, the water temple isn't as bad as people make it out to be um, it's one of the infamous parts of the game for a reason, but I don't think it's that bad. Sounds more long and tedious and actually hard. Yeah, yeah, it's not necessarily hard per se. Um, well, you don't want to go near those, at least now. Like, the sharks don't um, give you any breathing room, they just charge at you and you're pretty much dead. And you can't kill them until you get the super flame. So for now, just ignore it. But no, uh, what? I'm pretty sure I've probably, I've asked you this in Link to the Past, but what 3D Zelda's have you played, if any? Um, goodness gracious, had the I had the collector's edition on GameCube, so that gave me access to open your time in Majora. All right. I mean, if I played them, like, I'd very likely probably just watch my brother play them. <laughs> but it, we never got far in those games. Yeah, that's fair enough. I mean, especially with Majora, that, like, for a first timer, that, that's, that's really, like, hard to, uh, get used to. We didn't even finish the third day. <laughs> Majora's Mask, uh, is something I don't think you should play until you at least play for Ocarina of Time so you know generally what you expect from that kind of gameplay. This is the beginning, it's just terrifying. Yeah. I mean, it does what it needs to. Um, I think, like, making you terrified of, like, the looming presence above you and all that is, does a good job in that regard. Oh, come on. Can you not make the water a little bit higher? Of course. In before death. <laughs> Now, when I was playing this at my friend's house, I think we did try and bypass money bags. How like, how how would that go? I think we made it like eighty percent of the way through. Oh, it looks possible, but those sharks are fast. I think it is possible. Hmm. But 
dangerous. Yeah, I wouldn't risk it. We're gonna be able to kill those sharks very soon though, so... And we're gonna need to, because there's gems in that area. Man. What's your opinion on water levels? They, just, they get a bad rap. <laughs> oh, that's, this is a weird camera view. <laughs> I like how Spyro was like, forcing himself in the, in the position he's supposed to be in. He's polite. <laughs> I thought all the houses would be gold things, but... No, apparently, apparently not. I do like how they're, like, based on, like, the world itself. Oh, they make so sense. Like, this makes sense to be, like, a shell thing, for example. Alright. So, I know the uh, skill point in this level is you have to destroy the, sea the seaweed. Uh, but now if I just aim this. Blow them all up. Now we can get that. Oh, is there nothing, anything else? Yeah, this, I always get paranoid of the seaweed, because it's like something you could... It feels like you could just easily miss one. Which is another fun. <laughs> uh, what you I, I, what you think about like the skill points being like a thing in in this game in Spire Fire? Um, they're they're decent optional challenges. I I didn't bother doing all of them. What the heck? Okay. Okay, we're back. Internet messed Harry, up. Harry died. Pretty much. Yeah, my internet just decided to crap itself. Uh, well, <laughs> you, you, you were trying to say something earlier, was it? I completely forgot, and I wound up dragging Jason into the Skype call because I thought connecting to you alone would have been, wasn't working. Oh. Uh, what <laughs> is, um... Oh, I think you were talking about, uh, skill points. Ah, uh, yes, sir. They're fair challenges. I mean, I will never do speedways. I didn't. I couldn't do all the ones in Spyro 2 because that would involve having to go through the speedways again, and that wasn't happening. Yeah, that's fair enough. The so only I did, I did most of them, I believe. The only issue I have with the with the um, with the skill points is that there's no there's no real way of knowing um, what the skill points are. Um, at least to my knowledge, without looking them up, and uh, getting all of them like unlocks a special epilogue kind of thing. So like, and if there was just a better way of like telling you what they were, um, then I think it would be better. I think they were just intended to be secret challenges. I'm I'm okay with that for the most part. Yeah. And I it, appreciate it they didn't. Hmm? It, it, it for me it just depends on what they hide like what get what getting them does but I don't mind that they're like little secret challenges because I think they're in Ratchet and Clank 2 or not yeah. not like the original Ratchet and Clank not Ratchet and Clank 2 2 <laughs> oh it is yeah it's in the original Ratchet and Clank definitely I don't know is it do you know if it's in the sequels even as well or Probably. Mm. <clears throat> um, I appreciate that they were just mostly optional things. I mean, they gave you some epilogue pages, but for the most part, the game story is done without them. Yeah. It was just it was a it was a completionist bonus, basically. I I can appreciate that. Yeah. They were achievements before achievements. Yeah, pretty much. Right, I know there's another 
I feel like there's oh, something. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, it's up there. So, uh, there's more seaweed. Uh, so, let's grab this. And now there's a huge another area that we need to explore. And we should have the last of the seaweed we need to break or destroy. Go. Still more. Right. Oh man, how ma how much is left? Uh. I don't see any. Hmm. So that's a manta ray and hunt hunter. Oh, here it is. I see it. Alright. No, I hope this is the last one. Because <laughs> I don't know if we missed any around here. Like, if this is. If they ever made a game about mermaid, this was. I'd say this is how it should, how it should control. Yeah. Dang it, I lost it. I did see it. Okay, yeah, I let's... I have a round hunter. Let's see here. I'm just gonna... Oh, there oh, it is. yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to hunter and then we'll, we'll go around. Yay! How does a bug in a bubble eat a bug in a bubble? That is true, yeah. Hm. I also like how Sparrow can just breathe underwater indefinitely. In the first game, if you touch water, you just die. <laughs> Deserve. The award for most improved sequel released a year after. Yeah. What do you think is the, uh, I guess, the better overall sequel to the original games? This, this or Crash Two? Huh. Good question. I have no nostalgia for either. Mm. Um, yeah, me neither, actually, really. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I prefer Crash's gameplay overall, so I'm, yeah. I guess I'm kind of coming from a biased perspective. Yeah. I mean, I'm the same, so I can't blame you. This game did add, add a lot, though, but... Um, I'm kind of jumping the gun a bit here, but this is honestly my least favorite. Uh, of the Spyro Trilogy. Ow. Um... I... I just don't find it... as, uh, enjoyable... um, as the first game, because I... I, I like the... how fluid... the first game was. Um... and... I find the platforming generally just more interesting. Like, I, I like that they added a lot of things for Spyro 2, but I don't think... they really get fleshed out as much as they could until Spyro 3. So if, if I, it's like, if I want a simple experience that's really straightforward and has a lot of uh, uh, tight platforming um, and a lot of um, just using the 3D, 3D environment to your advantage to get to secret areas. Um, I, I play Spyro 1 um, 
And it, or if I wanted, and if I wanted a more complete experience with lots to do, I'd play Sparrow Three, because I do think Sparrow Two is a good game and I enjoy playing it, but I don't think it um, really does. Well, I I don't think it does anything uh, too great. I just boss think battles. The, the, yeah, the boss battles are pretty good. I the boss battles are really good in Spyro Two, but uh, and I do like the world and the characters. But as uh, as a like game, um, I just I just think it's it's simply good. And I don't really go back to play this one that much. But I don't know I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. <laughs> All right, and now we have to go find the uh, the seahorse king or whatever. The water workers have kidnapped six of my children and hidden them in the tops of these numbered towers. I borrowed some explosives to blast the doors off the towers. If you can make it to the top of the six numbered towers, my children will be safe. Yeah, this is very straightforward and easy, pretty easy. Just go through the towers. And sometimes there'll be enemies here, but. Yeah, not much to say about these. Just go up the towers and it'll gradually have more things to avoid. Alright, where's the second one? Yeah. Yeah, just make sure you don't bum rush it too much. So, um... Hmm. I, I kind of went on a... General... Uh, not right. Very hate Spyro 2, folks. <laughs> Well, I, I well, I'll, I'll say this much. I, I don't think it's like. I do think this game has a lot of, that ha, does have, quite a lot of issues, and um, I don't think it's as great as people like to say. Like, I, I definitely don't think this is the, this is the best game, in a trilogy, let alone one of the best games, on the PS One, but I do think it's a good game. And uh, you know, I already said all that, but. I feel like you should say this for final thoughts. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of jumping the yeah again. I'm kind of jumping the gun with that. Uh, since you weren't inspired, one. What what were your general feelings towards that one? experiment, although it probably reminds me why I prefer more linear platformers sometimes. Yeah, I can, I can, I can see that. Okay, excuse me for a moment. Alright. Oops. Alright, whatever, let's just get the seahorse. I don't need to kill the crab, but I wanted to. I want to anyway. Alrighty.
Oh, jeez. Oh, dang it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That was dumb. Alright. Let's try that again. That was all my fault. I, I take full blame for that. Are you serious? Come on. Alright, what do we have to do? What? What? The whole thing better not have been reset. Okay, good. Alright. Yeah, we killed all the enemies, nice. I forget, is there any reward for killing everyone? Nope. <laughs> so, as soon as you get all the, uh, kill the enemies you need to, um, was it, get the uh, power gates or whatever, you don't need to kill any more. Yeah, you know, unless there are enemies like the Metal Sharks, where you kind of need to get rid of them. <laughs> there we go. You did it! Now we can swim in peace. I heard that you were collecting these orbs. Please take this one. And that should be the end of the level. Yay! All hail the magic conch. Yep. No. Nope. <laughs> That's how we let one of them live. Goodness. Yay! Well done, Spyro. Now that you have six talismans, this door will open. Okay, Spyro, jump through that hole in the floor to get down to Precious Zenger. I'll help you by tossing feet through the hole if I can catch them. Good luck. Huzzah! At first off, let's uh, let's kill a sheep, real quick. <laughs> Full health back. Is this the right way? No. Here we go. Huzzah! Do. Before you get to the castle dungeon, Spyro, I As I'm falling down there. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Ripto just disappears. Wonderful. Crush, go back and pack my bags. We're moving in. 
Say hello to your new king. Professor, shut it down. Hurry. Oh my. Oh my. I can't see you. Well, they're already like here, so shutting it down would just make them stuck. <laughs> you despicable little creature. I'll kill you. This is bad news for Avalar. What realm is he from? Why didn't you chase him? That's the problem as well. The Ripto's backstory is never really brought up. Can you say something about not liking dragons? Professor, could we catch a dragon to help us? Yes, yes, I think so. We'll need a world that has an alignment much better. Suited to intercepting one of these creatures. How about Glimmer? Good idea. We better go right now. Which is why it's called Gateway to Glimmer in Europe. <laughs> this is like one of those anime that takes like 15 episodes to explain the origin stories of everyone. Yeah. Okay, so, um. Yeah. We're fighting Gulp here, and uh, there's, in, there's three bosses in the game, and all of them are much better than the ones in Spyro 1. Which were were not Seriously. even not even boss fights as far as I'm concerned. Metalhead was okay. Metalhead was uh, <laughs> actually a boss. Other than that, though, they were pretty bad. I mean, I'd like the uh, Reignite trilogy to fix Spyron bosses, but if they want to, yeah, if they want to stay faithful, they're not going to. Being faithful is overrated sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta make changes where they're due. I understand you don't want to make it too different, but... This arena's so big that it's pretty easy to not get hurt. Yeah, because there's a skill point in the boss fights where you don't take any damage and you get it. Which is only really possible for Crush. Um, like, I, I'm gonna try getting it for Gulp and Ripto, but, yeah, the, I'm not gonna expect it, because those are a lot more difficult, and they t they are honestly pretty long as well. So, we might have to wait until we get the end game reward. Oh, oof, that was close. Run! And now he chases us. Need some NNA sound effects stat. Yeah. <laughs> what is uh, the whole meme of like this, like a scene with NNA Eddie sound effects? So you know. I'm okay with that meme. <laughs> it's funny. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that show. <laughs> And oh come on. Three, five, four, fumble. <laughs> there we go, okay. And he's done. No, we killed him. He'll be alright. Yeah, the they're, they're fine. The game makes it seem like he killed them, but they they come back. Man, imagine if they actually made you fight two bosses in a row.
Yeah, if there's something Ripto has over the other villains in the trilogy is that he has a lot more... Um, can... He, um... Was it? He and Spyro have a, have a lot more of a chemistry than the others, than the other villains. Oh man. The lab is perfect. Yeah. No, not the banners. <laughs> I just find that so it's just like so funny. It's like it chases the banners, it's just like no 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 uh okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna ignore m most of these collectibles and stuff because i just want to get to money bears because he's gonna teach us to uh climb now also give me your phone <laughs> Alright. So let's uh, go back. Where is it going to take us? Back here, okay. Alright, let's uh, backtrack to uh, Glimmer so we can get the last gems around there. My apologies for chewing noises, I just got really hungry. Oh, I can't hear any of it, so that's fine. I hope the audience can't hear either. <laughs> I have like, these thin mint Oreos and they're, they're awesome. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I think this is the first, th well, this is the first and this is backtracking, and I think we need to kill enough enemies to get the, uh, the power gate, so, let me see here. Wait, is the gem cutter chasing the enemy or the other way around? I think, the yeah, the enemy is getting chased by him, that's funny. Alright, we're gonna have to kill some enemies. <laughs> I don't know, just little, little things like that make me chuckle. Yeah. I like it when the characters are interacting with uh, other things in the world. Makes it feel more... Alive. Uh, yeah, alive for lack of a better word. <laughs> also, when you return to the summer forest, um... Even though it's not really, even though it doesn't have much of a point now, I do kind of miss the balloonist from the first game. Yeah. Yeah, they basically get replaced. Um, well, I mean, in this game, you just kind of go to the next... Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, in, in this game, you kind of just go to the next home world. Um, and in Spyro 3, it's the balloonists are replaced completely. With, like, uh, these little contraptions that take you to the next area. Alright, so the same song and dance as the as the lights uh, from earlier, just they're in the air now. I mean, they, they were in the air uh, as well earlier, but you know, we couldn't get to this one until now. The importance of gems in this world makes me wonder if like, the Crash Bandicoot gems have like, the same properties in the Spyro universe. Oh man, I mean, it, I mean, if that's the case, um, 
take all the take all the gems you get from the Spyro games, and then put it in the Crash universe, and Cortex would just have a like an orgasm. <laughs> Thank you for that wonderful visual, Harrison. <laughs> I mean, seriously though, like uh, there's so many gems in the Spyro universe that if they all have the same kind of power as like a, as the gems in Crash, like that would be ridiculous. Oh, it's not gonna show like an outro or anything? Oh. Glimmer didn't have one, remember? Oh. Uh. Alright, uh, so. Okay, let's see the guidebook. So, summer for us is like. There's a thing at the end. Oh, yeah, Sunny Beach. We're still missing some gems here, actually. Yeah, I know there's, um. An area near the near the end of the home world where there's like a ladder. Yeah, I want to finish up the summer forest area before we stop, so we can just start the next session in the uh, autumn plains. Uh, let's uh, let's finish Sunny Beach first. Almost done. This shouldn't take too much longer. Color palette in this game is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Same, same song and dance as earlier. What do you think about, like, the music in the Spyro games? I like it. It's... It's unique. Yep. I think it fits. I'm... I'm kind of close between where I prefer Spyro 1 or Year of the Dragons soundtrack the most. Hmm. Yeah, because the, the soundtracks fit the Spyro, but... The, these are definitely not soundtracks I go back to listen to on my own time. What I, I appreciate that they had... <clears throat> I appreciate that they... That Stuart Copeland was willing to make alternate tracks for levels if you stayed there long enough. Hmm, yeah. Alright. Alright, I believe there's uh, gems around here, so we um, should just do take care of that real quick. This should be the last one. Yep, nice. And now we got a mini game to do. Your turtle friends happen to make a very good soup. If I can catch them, you can try to save them if you like. But I'm feeling awfully hungry. Why doesn't he just torch them? <laughs> Yeah, then we wouldn't have a mini game. Ah, oh, nope, nope. I don't want to fail that quickly. That would be bad. Having trouble controlling Spyro right now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you're trying to bribe me to not say the rest. Yeah. <clears throat> if you step a little closer to the pot, I'll start ringing my bell again. <laughs> I like it how the difficult was like five stars. <laughs> 
It's not that bad, but hopefully I can control Sparrow better. I mean, and this camera view is actually really pretty good for the, the kind of minigame it is, so I can't complain about that. <laughs> nope. Oh. No, don't, 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 don't. Ah, dang it. Wow. Yeah, Turtle's dead now. <laughs> Rip. Because even though we can try again, it doesn't mean that didn't happen. Come on, go into the water. I treat the turtles dying like I treat Spyro falling off a cliff. If not, can of you have an extra life? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Nope. Is that it? Oh. Nope. I mean, he's running away, but where to? Yeah. You know, at this point, they're gonna be fried and cracked. Yeah. Cooked. I'm cooking them at this point, yeah. <laughs> See? The death was non canon. <laughs> yeah, like, that really isn't five stars difficulty, but I did have a genuine screw up. Nice. And now we just need to finish off the hub world. Alright. We had to say. There's something shiny at the top of this wall. Maybe we can climb up and get it. Huzzah, yes. None of these people know how to climb. Apparently not. <laughs> I mean, we had to... I had to learn it from money bags. I wonder if money bags can climb then in that case. Is that the last? Yay! Nice. And just to make sure we got everything in this world, right? Yep, we're good. Alright. So we're just gonna warp into summer forest. Or autumn plains rather. <laughs> we're in summer forest. Yeah, where's the war portal? I thought it was Here near the... Yep. Here we go. <clears throat> There's usually a few portals around. I look forward to the, to the voice actors for the remakes. Yeah, I know Tom Kenny's coming back, so that's good. Hunter and Ripto's actor is coming back too. Oh, nice. Yeah, save. Sparks is probably, his actor's probably coming back because he already came back with Skylanders. Well, all you have to do is go, beep, 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 I don't know. But, uh... He has somewhat coherent dialogue in here the dragon, doesn't he? You can kind of make out what he's saying, but... You know... I like to be safe. <laughs> 
Uh, and like, you, you're going to have to be like a master at decoding Spark's language. If you know, want to know what you're saying in Enter the Dragonfly cutscenes. Uh, but regardless, uh, we're going to end it off here. So yeah, next time we meet, we're going to go through um, Autumn Plains. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to finish it completely because this, this home world... It's going to take a bit. It's the longest in the game and has a lot of levels. So, yep. Well, with that, um, hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys next time. Good night.